Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 27th episode of the Boku Cast. My name is Well Aaron, aka Boku Satsu. You can call me Boku Aaron or Boku Satsu. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. And today, in this episode, we're going to talk about a lot of things. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Before this, I just want to say this. I want to say this. When this episode is out, I was just on a, a podcast episode with with Henshin's and Homies. Go, I'll put the link in the description for the episode. I was I was on the I was on the channel three times, by the way. Holy shit! First time for Dawn Blows, second time for Black Sun, and now again for Dawn Blows. And uh, well, fine enough. Today one of the topics we're gonna talk about is Dawn Blows. So I would tell Sentai Dawn Brothers, what did I think? Well, it was it was mid. No, it's kidding. It was actually very good. <laughs> it was very good, not perfect, but uh, I I do I do have my issues with it. So anyway, ask me who's my favorite character in the show. Sonori, I fucked him up that guy. Listen, he has the best drip in the whole show, and no one can tell me otherwise. Cause God damn it, I love this guy since <laughs> I love this guy's character arc in the whole show. <laughs> because Sonori's character arc was basically him want to know about. About humanity and all that, and emotions, you kind of say. Well, Sonoza, Sonoza was about emotion. Sonori was, Sonori, Sonori was basically about him, uh, his, his, uh, arc was basically him trying to figure out about humanity and all that. And well, I love, and well, that hit me personally. Because, well, as someone who is trying, as someone who is trying to find his, well, I felt, well, I have, well, I've been having humanity, but the same way, I, as someone who's been trying to find a different type of way for humanity, as, is it, like, fuck, it's kind of, hard, it's hard for me to say, but as someone who is trying to find his own type of different way for humanity, you kind of say, like, the same way as Sony, so, Sony found it in the show, I'm, Basically, trying to find something like that, kind of, but not really. <laughs> oh boy, that, that just came off wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, overall, yeah, I like the characters. <laughs> so, what do I think of the Notos? Well, I like Noto. Sonori is my favorite. Sonori is my second favorite. So, Noto my third favorite. He ain't my late favorite. No, I like all of them different ways, but, but Sonori and uh. Sonori, I'm a two of my favorite. Sonori is just well, she's just horny. She's just she's just in no way's fetish. Like goddamn in no way. Again, look don't get me wrong, I know, in no way's horny. Like, dude, you can't tell me that this guy was horny for writing Dawn Bros. What I'm saying, this what I'm saying, this is the same guy this is the same guy that wrote for Fies and Kifa and Akito and uh, well he wasn't horny for Fies. No, he, no, he wasn't horny for Agito. Kinda, but still, he was way. He was definitely horny for uh for Kiva. You can definitely tell this guy wanted to write a sex scene in that show. Yeah, he couldn't. And Fies, well, I don't need to say. I don't need to say about Fies because, well, if you know, you know. So yeah. But uh. But uh, besides, uh, besides that, besides that, I have my issue with the show. Like, okay, okay. So, uh, so, 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 let's talk about the plots of the show, shall we? Like the plot holes. What the? F what the? Oh, sorry. What's that? What the? Fine. Spoiler. First of all, spoiler alert for those that have not watched the show. Please skip this part. Please, uh, please skip this part to, like, I honestly don't know, I, I honestly don't know what part I'm going to say, but, yeah. Just skip this part, basically. Or just don't watch this video in general, because, uh, well, I'm gonna be saying, I'm gonna get a spoiler for, for, for these plot holes. Okay, number one. Number one, what the, what the fuck is more Sami arc in the show? I get it. I get, I get what they're trying to do with this. 
but at the same time, what the what the fuck is this arc in the show? Like, if it, it felt like in no way wanted. So it felt like it felt like in no way wanted him and Juto to be like equal opposite, like what, like like complete equals. But at the same time, he it didn't do that much. Like he just appeared here and there for no reason, and then oh yeah, out of nowhere, Subasa got the Morosami sword. Got and uh, well at that yeah after that yeah after that uh oh yeah uh. The, at times, the sword, the sword will, the sword can be used for Subasa or trying to kill Subasa. Like I'm still trying to figure out why the hell was the sword going after Subasa in that one episode? Like why, why him out all people? I, <laughs> what the fuck? Why him out all people? To be fair, in that same episode, Hadaka tried. Hadaka got her license, but uh, at the same next, at the same time, next episode, they just forgot about that. They just they just forgot about that about Hadaka getting her license. I don't get. I don't understand more Sami's character. Cause I yeah, don't they just know that he's just there just to sell toys. Well, he did his part. He, he was just there just to sell toys, and he did his part already. That's basically it. That's basically it. His, his like, interaction with Juro was interesting. And then, and no, he dropped it. Then the fucker dropped f dropped it and then went back to it. Well, to be fair, this, this, also, this also brings up my second part. My second uh, part of this, of my issue with the show. The second plot hole. What the fuck was the point of Ma um, Natsuki Natsumi, sorry, Natsumi getting kidnapped by the Jutos? And who is and who is that who is that dark force that kidnapped her? And what happened to those kids from the from from the theater as well? Never been explained. All we just know some dark mysterious entity Kidnapped her, and well, the show, the show never explained that. Like, really, like, really, they bring up, they bring up in one episode, and then it never went back to it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ, in no way. I get it, okay. I freaking get it in no way. Yo. You're you're not you're not the best when it comes to storytelling in your in your Toku show. FRI, I have not seen Jetman yet, so I cannot compare Jetman to this. He did this he did this crap in Kiva and Fies. Yes, Agito as well. But to be fair, at Agito he put at Agito there's more storytelling to there instead of the two other shows. Because what the f like, okay, like what the fuck is the plot to Fies? Oh, there isn't one. Well, that sucks. What the fuck the plot to Kiva? Oh, there isn't one. Okay. Okay. Like, dude. In no way. If you if you're gonna write if you're gonna write for a show, at least put at least put in plot at least put in plot progression in your show or something. Well, to be fair, this is in no way himself, and the, and the man's not the best for writing for putting plot progression in his own shows. And well, unfortunately, Don Blow suffered from that as well for this plot point. So, yeah, not so yeah, we had no idea. We had no idea what the hell happened to not to Nasumi when she got kidnapped by the mysterious dark forces. We don't know because the show never explained it after that episode. Third part, third one. Episode three, no, not three. Number three, yeah, no, number freaking three. Okay, Noe, explain to me this. What was the point of Juro, uh, paint? What was the point of Juro getting attacked by Morisame and getting infected? Because we all thought that this guy, that Juro, was a Juto. We all thought he was. 
because, well, only Juto can get affected by Murasami's attack. And then we find, and then the show, try, then the show tried to bait us, saying that, oh yeah, oh yeah, he, yeah, he's a Juto. Because, well, he made a lot of penguin, penguin origamis. Then we find out, no, he's not. His, uh, adopted dad is. No, he, he isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He's member of the Dawn Clan, but uh, yeah, but yeah, though he isn't a, <laughs> yeah, though he isn't a Juto. So what's the point? What was the point of that? Sorry, sorry about that. What What was the point? What was the fucking point then of all that? What the fucking no way? <laughs> like she's fucking crying. Don't get me wrong. This show, this show, ha this show had like a lot of fun stuff, but at the same time, yeah. There are frustrating things about that I can't stand. And this is one of them. What the fuck was the point of that tease? Oh yeah, we already know it won't it won't it won't it won't get explained. It won't get explained, unfortunately. It won't get explained, sadly, and well, that's the outcome of it. Jesus Christ in no way. You need to stop doing this, my guy. You need to stop doing this, cause that is getting really annoying. Like for fuck's sake. You did this in Kiva. You did this in Fies. You did this in Agito as well. To be honest, I like Agito one of my favorite, but at the same time, I don't, I don't remember that much from Agito. Well, actually, that's a lot I do, but but not that much. Oh boy, we watch Agito. I'm down for that. <laughs> for fuck's sake, in no way. What the hell? Jesus Christ. I just don't, I honestly don't get, I honestly don't get that, cause like this show has like no plot to, 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 to like other show, uh, like other plot, like, no, other shows that I normally vote for, because shit just happened in those show. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck the plot defies. Here's the thing, let me say this, half my, fr thing, I have a lot of friends that love Fives, and that's totally fair. You can like Fives, you can hate Fives, that's fine. But I need my answer to explain. What the fuck the plot to that show? Because I honestly don't know. Because Five was just made to piss off fans, and well, it did it all right. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is the plot to that show. Because I have no idea what it is. Like no joke. I have no idea what the hell the plot to that show. And well, I may never know because. Fives doesn't have one. Looking at like an epic, looking at like a, like, looking at another comic show that's like epic side, epic sonic, but at the same time has a has a amazing, good, decent plot. It's Blade. That show works. And also, to be fair, I know it did vote for a few episodes of Blade. And also, he wrote for the Blade movie. And I, well, I didn't like the Blade movie to be honest. That that movie that movie was just mid. In my opinion, so moving on. <laughs> but uh, when watching like a show like that, I can I can feel I can see I can see the plot progression. I can't talk. I can see the plot progression for that show, and for and for all the characters, for and, and going into the well arcs and future arcs. And Fies and he and Dawn Bros. I don't, well, actually, I'm seeing Dawn Bros. In Fives, it wasn't there. But in Dawn Bros, the, they have arcs, yeah, but at the same time, Juro's arc and Tsubasa's arc were kind of weird. Even though I love both characters. Well, I like Juro, but at the same time, he was, at the same time, he one of my, I can say, least favorite? Yeah. I like Dawn Bros, but at the same time, I think Juro, I think Juro won one of the weakest part of the show, mostly because I prefer his, I prefer his other half more Torbo because I I because I like because at the beginning, I love I love the I love the his arc and and the uh, subplot with his with his two personalities. Then, uh, with Toribo appeared more than Dora Goku, I was like, okay, yeah, you know what, I like Tor, you know what, I, you know what, I, I fucking love Toribo. 
Because I love that character. I love that suit, too. And I saw that more at the Six Rangers instead of, well, instead of Dora Goku. And then he merged, then, then, then he merged, then he merged, then he merged both personalities. They fucking, they fucking poor revise. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair, there are a lot of things that this show, there, there's a lot of things that this show did that revise did, but same time, Dawnboard did better, in my opinion. Just saying, like, you cannot tell me, you cannot tell me that fucking, uh, in no way of like, okay, you know what? Let me go, let, let me go look at Comrade Revise, okay? The guy look, <laughs> the fucker looks at the character's arcs like, okay, they're cooking. Let me take this shit and put it in my show. And well, he did it, alright? He did it. And no way he did it, alright? Sorry. But yeah, and no way, and no way, and no way he did it, alright? He was cooking, but now I know. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, this man's crazy. That's for sure. But, yeah, in no way was cooking a pan, so I could say. But, yeah. I feel like Jiro's arc was good, but at the same time, it felt, it felt pretty weak. Is it better than Daiji's from Revice? The beginning of Daiji's arc in the first half was rig was rig. Interesting, fascinating, good. It was bad. It, it was getting there the second half. Then they, uh, then it just went downhill when Kaki, you know, when, when my boy, Ima boy came back, said, Oh, yeah, guess what? I never left your body. I was with you the whole entire time in that stamp. And because of that, you're incomplete without me. So it's time for us to merge and create a brand new repaint suit. Repaint suit that's gonna be a premium Bandai for a Vice stamp. And well, it happened after the show ended, and here we are now. I would never stop taking jabs at Revice and their fucking and those fucking suits for being a premium Bandai. <laughs> well, to be fair, apparently the Revice uh, Phoenix jacket and clothes were on the U.S. Premium Bandai store. I didn't know that until I found out this. I tell I found out last month, but uh, yeah, they were on there. Like, damn, really? They were sounded on American Premium Bandai, huh? Next time, next time they sell like comrade, like ne next time they sell like some, next time they sell like some type of comrade or uh, clothes on Premium Bandai, I'm buying one. <laughs> buying one. So anyway, back on as I was saying. <laughs> so yeah, back on as I was saying. It's uh This show's amazing, okay. But hey, back on saying it's uh Jiro's arc was good, but at the same time, it felt lazy at the end about him merging himself because they did this because I get it, okay? I know way Bay I know it pretty much took shit from Revice and put it in here. And well you can tell. And also also, this this was pointed out to me on Twitter, but uh, so the episode that they did the, the so the revised recap they did in the one episode of Dawn Bros. Apparently, that was a foreshadow for for Taro's character because in revised, Iki's character lost his memory every time he every time, uh, well, he used his driver, right? In Dawn Bros, when uh when Jiro became complete, all mature and grown up, Taro did his part. You've you've in the in the final episode, he was he was losing his memory because well, well, the guy the guy was going to reset, and well he did all right. And uh damn, and it felt it. Felt Felt, it felt it felt more painful in Dawn Bros and Revice because in Revice when it when in Revice when that scene happened he, he when he said he can say Vice hey Vice uh, who are they I was like damn okay that that damn that hurts not gonna lie that actually hurts right there because this is your family Iki these people love you care for you that that he hurt it 
And I'm saying this because, no joke, we all know that I'm not the biggest fan of comedy rewrites on my channel. But I can't lie by saying that uh, that, that scene in the show hit and hurt hard. Hit me a lot. It did. It fucking did. Punched me in the face when that happened. Like, damn, okay, that, that, that actually hurt. Hurt, I'm not gonna lie. And then, uh, then we got Dawn Bros over here, and damn, fucking hell, no way. I know it did better, in my opinion. Dawn Bros did the, did the, lo the losing memory trope better, in my opinion, because it was a foreshadow. Like, Dawn Bros, like, not Dawn Bros, Levi did this in episode one, kind of say, when, uh, when, well, he's, when, uh, he said, oh, yeah, by the way, our contract, me taking your memories away. Well, it, they pull a fucking Deno. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and kind of wearing Deno, Sakura Yuto, the secondary, uh, has a power up that I do not like. But same, but that power up, his final form. Every time he used those, every time he used that power up, people that people that he talks to lose their memories of him. And well, well, and uh. <laughs> And, uh, he did that a lot in the show. And, uh, a certain someone that he cared for lost his, lost her memories of him. To be fair, to be fair, Deno wasn't the best because that show, that show has, that show has a lot of plot holes, you can say. And I'm just gonna be honest by saying this. Kobayashi, that wasn't your best work, girl. No offense. Your best work is your best work is mostly in Sentai with uh, with shows like Ginga Man, Shinkinger, not Go Time Ranger. That shows mid. Ginga Man, Shinkinger, and Go Busters. Amazon was all right, okay, but not the best. Also, what the fuck? Also, Kobayashi, girl. I know, I know you're retired now, but girl, what the fuck was up with you putting the damn incest in Amazon? I just found that kind of weird. What, what, why, why you wrote that? Cause it felt like, it felt like, uh, it felt, it felt like that, uh, those two, it felt like the two. Well, what the fuck was his name in the show? Haruka, I think Haruka and Mizuki. <sighs> that their relationship felt like a fucking weird incest, and uh, it was gross. And yet I know she was Haruka. She was. Haruka was basically Mizuki's half brother because, well, his mom, adopted mom, put her blood in him, and he was technically her half son as well. And at the same time, like, okay, so he's basically your half son, but also at the same time, he's her half. He's not your half son. I found that. I just found that weird. I just. I just found that. I just found that relationship weird in Amazon. It kind of, it's, it's like one, of the, it's like one of the few negatives I have with that show. But that's just my opinion right there. So, uh, yeah. But uh, but uh, back on saying about Dawn Brothers, this episode for our, this final episode hit because Dawn Brothers host the the, the whole message for Dawn Brothers basically. You lose some, you win some. You got to, you got to get up. You, you got, you got to get up, restart your whole life all over again from day one. You can say. And uh, well, yeah, that's basically what the message I got from Dawn Bro from No Way. And uh, damn, it, it actually hit it like big time. <laughs> it actually hit it, like, it. Actually hit it like big. It actually hurt like big time. Don't blow this. Don't break this over, fortunately. And well, it was a fun blast. We're going to see the cats again, you guys. Cause well, let's be honest. The fucking Zenkaiju crossover is happening this year. <laughs> and also, after the show ended, a couple of week, a couple of days later, they announced the Dawn Memorial Dawn Blaster. We all knew. We all knew this was gonna happen. So yeah. Moving on, moving, moving on from that. Uh, what? Moving on from Dawn Brothers ending. King Oger. I talk about all Simon Sentai King Oger. Episode one just came out. Apparently, I haven't seen it yet. I heard, I heard pretty good. 
I'm not going to, I'm going to wait till, I'm going to wait. So, last year, for, so, for Dawn Brothers, I watched all the episodes raw and unsub because I just, I, I just felt lazy and wanted ready for sub. Also, I wanted, I wanted to learn my Japanese that way from watching it raw and, uh, it kind of worked, kind of, but not fully. <laughs> Listen, my Japanese is horrible, so please forgive me. <laughs> and uh, for this for this Sentai, I'm just gonna wait until the subs are available for King Oger from now on, and that. And yeah, that's the plan I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna stick with that plan for this time. No, for anyone that me, Boku, which kid, which kid in the room for be a favorite for King Oger? All right, let's fucking do this. Fucking, oh, okay, I'm excited for this. Purple, I fucking love purple. Uh, God damn it, I'm gonna like that kid a lot. Why? So not only, listen, listen, not only the kid, not only the character is a fucking transgender, his. The character, the character is trans. The actress is not, by the way. The actress, the actress is not. She's full on female. The character is transgender. It's a guy. So, so not only, so not only, sorry. So not only, we're we're, we're getting a transgender ranger in this show. Purple, purple has the best suit in this whole show. God damn it! Uh, I'm gonna be fucking simping for this character. God damn, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you simping for the actress for the character, Boku? Well, either way, doesn't matter. <laughs> God damn, I, I should be saying that, but fuck, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> We're doing this, boys. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so, purple, blue, and black have my favorite suits in the show. Yellow's good, but not. Yellow suit is good. I don't like red. Red suit. Red suit gave me a saber vibe from it, and I still have it. The actor. The actor gave me a magic red vibe. I can't explain why. He just reminded me of Kai. Kai from Magic Ranger. So yeah, though I haven't seen. I haven't seen the first episode, so I can't say. But it looks. But right now, King Oger looks interesting. I'm not fully hyped for it. And yes, I heard the intro song. Don't like it. It's all right, not the best. It, I give it a four. It's not. It's not on the same level as Vi for like as Cure Major, as Cure Major, Zenkai and Dawn Bros. Cause all those are fire back to back. King Oger felt like a. Uh, how can I explain this? King Oger's theme song felt like it's trying to be campy, a uh, super campy or cheesy. You can say. And well, and uh, <clears throat> and well, it's it's all right, but it's not. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel it connect with, with the vibes for uh, with the vibes for this uh for the show. Just like with trust last with me, like beginning in the beginning when I heard trust last. For Jeet, I thought it was, eh. It's growing on me now, but at the same time, it's still not my favorite uh, song because the male singers in the back of the song killed it for me, in my opinion. But that's just me. Well, they well they ruined the song. I will say this: the intro man is way better. So, yeah. So so yeah, King Oger looks interesting. Eh. My, my my expectation for this show is very low because well we just had two anniversary seasons back to back and my god thank fucking god there are no more anniversary seasons. Oh god I'm getting tired. <laughs> thank God no more. I'm not gonna go on four and we're gonna talk about that, but I'm gonna say it like this. I have it done Dawn Bros over, but same time same time I'm sad about it. Cause dude, I'm getting do I'm getting tired of the damn anniversary stuff for Sentai. For Tokyo in general, and thank fucking God, I no longer have to see that on my screen anymore. Moving on. So, moving on from that, let's talk about Jeet. Last episode was a recap, and it was alright. It gave us a few new details, but at the same time, it was okay. 
my attention, mostly my attention for that last episode focused on Dawn Brothers more, and well, yeah, because that was a fun episode, and apparently, I, I'm not, apparently I'm not the only one who, uh, who, uh, uh, who noticed, who, uh, noticed that, because Japanese kids, well, viewers as well, focus their attention more on Dawn Bros final episode instead of Jesus' last episode. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, Jeez is really good. And don't worry, I will do the Jeez, I will do the video, I will do a review on the SA figure of Kamari Jeez. Tomorrow, I have plans on taking more pictures. And I'll probably get that video out next, well, not next week, because cause this week's video, I gotta pop out or put on my channel release and start filming a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta review. And uh, after that, I would do Jeet. So yeah, but I can say he's a really good figure. I I had to cancel my pre-order on entry, unfortunately, to save money. <laughs> yeah, haha. Ha. Yes, right. You can use the meme right now, bro. Kusatsu. Yes, I'm broke, unfortunately. <laughs> ha ha ha. Funny. Let's, let's just say that last year I broke through my budget. <laughs> I'm buying token merchant. Well, this is the result. This is, this is the result of it. So, yeah. But, yeah, though. I, I, will, do the, I will do a review on G's figure. And the figure is really good. I know that I know that there are copies out there that dealt with a... Uh, that dealt with a... Uh, that, that, that dealt with the helmet breaking off. Or the, or the arms popping off or whatever. And all that, you know, yeah, that's that's sad to hurt. That's sad to hear because my saber, his visor pop off a lot. Same for blades, you know. Well, I don't want that for G. I checked by about my copy. My copy, really solid, really good. So I'm all good there. <laughs> no, speaking of SHF, let's talk about uh, double stream because oh boy. So you don't know what I'm talking about. There has been a lot of issues lately with the Senkoku Seiho double Senkoku Seiho Kamara double extreme SA figure art. With with copies with copies uh having loose legs, loose arms, crappy torso, and uh fucking paint chip paint on the helmets. Jesus Christ Jesus Christ. What the Jesus Christ, what the Fuck Tamashi. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Y'all ain't Hasbro. I, de I, I deserve quality figures. Quality premium figures from y'all. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna say Hasbro, no. What the fuck, Tamashi? <laughs> For the record, I have not bought... I did not pre-order Double Extreme. I wanted to, but at the same time, I decided to, I decided to skip on him because I wanted to see if I could find him for a cheaper price. On Ami Ami and Mandrake one day, so yeah. But fucking hell, fucking hell, Tamashi! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I thought Hasbro had a bad first Jeets, now this. I think the I think the last time this shit happened was for Saber, and uh, oh my God, those Saber figures are garbage. Well, actually, no. Except for Sibala. Sibella. That figure is really good. And same for Espada. Besides, though, the, the other three I have are complete doo-doo. And fucking hell. They... My goodness. I... My goodness. And I, so, I gotta... For those that... For those that bought the Senkoku... For, okay. For those that bought this Senkoku Seho Double Extreme figure art, SA figure art, please be careful with him. You may have a crappy copy, or a bad copy, or a good copy. Just be careful with with, with, with that figure. Because, mega. There are times that Tamashi QC, quality QC, or quality control, is, is at 0 to 100. Like, fuck say, this shit, this shit happened... With Senkoku Seho Black and Tiga, even though I, even though I have no, I have like no intention of buying Senkoku Seho Black. Wait, but Boku, wait, Boku, you have Shadow Moon. Yeah, I do have Shadow Moon because I fucking like that figure. 
I like the suit too, because to be honest, I thought Comrade Black was boring, and the only like, and the only kid, the, the only kid that saved that show for me was Shadow Moon. Cause I thought he was way cooler than Black. Also, he's a badass, and his fucking theme, and, and his theme, the song that he used every time he appears in the show, I love it. It gives off a horror type vibe, and I fucking love it. Every type of song you hear in a Castlevania boss fight, even though I have not played any of the Castlevania video games. And yes, I know there's a Netflix anime on it as well, but I have not seen that, so yeah. So moving on from that, so moving on from that, let's talk about, <laughs> yeah boy, <laughs> that fucking hell. Hold on, before we start this, let me go check my phone. Oh boy. I'm about to say, let's not talk about her Kinger. We ain't talk about her Kinger. We ain't talk about her Kinger. Her. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say something, but no, I'm gonna wait. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fuck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, <sighs> sorry, but I just gotta check my phone. I got a lot of weird messages. Now, well, I got a lot of notifications. So, so back on those sayings. Let's. <laughs> I talk about Akka the Winko. Oh god, this show. Akka the Winko. What? What episode are you on, Boku? Ah, uh, episode fucking six. I hate this show. So recap: the last episode. I think I said that last episode. Inuta went to go find his friend, and well, he found her. All right. She was tied. Her co-worker drugged her, like, he literally drugged her, unclothed her, too, to her fucking bikini, and, and uh, he unpants himself about to rape her until Inuta came in to save her. And yes, yes, I did say the R word, and I regret saying that, but that literally, that what the fucking, that what her co-worker was about to do to her. Inuta came in, about to save her. And, uh, well, he found her tied. <laughs> he tied. He tied. Ita went and found her tied up. This fucker tied her up. Her co worker tied her up. And, well, this fucker said that, uh, oh, yeah, uh, I know, I know, I know karate. And, well, Ita was going for a punch, but, uh, he punched Ita the face. And he tied her lying, lying on the floor. Almost unconscious, and I uh, and well, he he about to choke him, but uh, don't worry, Meg, uh, Meg, I, for, I forgot her fucking name, <laughs> the Ma Meg's character show, but uh, her character untie her character untie herself, and uh, kick the kick her fucking coworker in the face, and say lay off, <laughs> and well, she kick him away, like my fucking god, where the hell was this? Sh I made a joke saying, my fucking god, why the hell do we not see May do that? May kicks on the face and save her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, see, see, kick her coworker in the face. And well, next scene, next scene, she put bandages on Utah's face and said, oh, no worry. If, no worry. I felt okay. I'm like, okay, woman, you almost got assaulted. You got drugged. Almost got assaulted. You're saying you're okay? What the fuck? Then the, then the next scene shows them going... Then the next scene shows Ita having feelings for his for his friend. And he talked to his two friends about it and said, Hey, so so you have feelings for her, huh? We ain't gonna bang her. He's like, wait, bang? Oh, hang on, hang on, I am sex with her. <laughs> and they'll get ready for a date. And well... We're gonna... Fucking Santa's character came in, asking what happened. He said, "Oh, no, I'm fine." 
It thinks he said the weirdest shit ever. So you want to have sex with Inita. I fucking hate this show. I fucking hate this show. I fucking hate this show. God damn it, dude. What the hell? I hate this show so much. God. Oh, boy. What the heck am I watching? What the heck am I watching? This show. This show. This show is something else. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. This show. This show is about to release my villain origin. That's for sure. And, yes, I have a villain origin. I think everyone has a villain origin, to be honest. Not just me. So, moving on from that. The next... God. The next part... The fuck? The next... The next part, we're gonna give it for the day. Inita was, Inita was outside his house waiting for May's kid to come out. Then he get a... A video. A, a message. A, a text. He saw a sex tape. Of his dad and his co-worker. You know, Hammy's act, Hammy's character. And he saw them having sex. And well, he went into a full on spiral. And uh, Santa's character saw him go having a meltdown. She, I'm gonna guess he brought him to his place, to her place. And uh, well, May's character was looking for him, looking for Inuta, asked his mom where he is. And uh, well, she told him 1.5 meters for how much, for how much you guys should be. For for your date, like oh god, she's getting down fucking how she's getting down how many meters they should be, for for the date. <sighs> she called she called Inita's phone, but guess who picked up? Yes, you know we both. If you saw the episode, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say who. And she said that oh yeah, uh, Inita for me. And, uh, I'm gonna have sex with him. And, oh god. Oh god. At, next scene after that, she was not, May's character was not happy about that. And the next scene after that, Santa's character was next to the, was next to the shower door. She undressed herself, went in with Ita, saying it's okay to have sex. And the next scene after that, it's a bathtub. It's a bathtub scene. Now, if you don't know, in the manga, in the manga version of this, it's actually different. <laughs> Inuta has sex with with his best friend's girlfriend, but here they change it, and well, they change it, right? Don't worry, they they edit out they edit out the sex scene. <laughs> no joke, that's what they did. They edit out the sex scene. <laughs> After that, there was a two month, there was a time stamp of two months past since Inita disappeared. And, uh, well, everyone, everyone's worried about him. And that's when the episode left off. Now, apparently, there are, there, there's a fucking spin off that takes place after this episode. Oh, God. I saw the trailer for it. There's this apparently two. There could be one. There's two spinoffs. You know, God, I'm not. I'm not ready for those. I'm not ready for those. There's only just only there's like four episodes left of this crappy show. But again, at the same time, I'm not. I don't want to watch those. But I have. But me, my. But me, and my friends are suffering. Mostly me. I'm suffering through watching this crap. Also, just want to say, I, wa I suffered watching this, that, that. I we watched the Decker movie. With, I we watched the Ultimate Decker movie with, with my friends. And my God, I we watched that movie, and I have a down bad for Dennis. I, I, I will not, and I will not explain why I fucking love that girl and that character. <laughs> the movie's really good. I have, I have one issue with it. Where the f so spoiler. In the final battle 
we kind of kind of turned to Decker again, fighting Frieza. Where the fuck did uh, where the fuck did Dina's character went when all Guts Select went to their freaking robot? Well, well, Max. Well, can I say Max? Vehicles, flying vehicles, to help Kanaka. Where the hell did Dina's went to? She just went somewhere, and we don't know where. Then, then after that battle, and then we we get like a, we get we get like a timestamp <laughs> where everyone's at now. Kind of got a captain going out into space with with with, uh, with, with each with, uh, with Ika and fucking uh, Dennis, both being his uh, well, both being his uh, teammates. They call him Captain. I fucking love it. It's adorable. Ryomi became... Ryoma... No, Ryomi became a... Ryoma... Ryoma became a captain on Earth. Hell yeah. I fucking love it. <laughs> it's a good movie. Go watch it. It's really good. I loved it. And, uh, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm a Dina simp. Moving on. <laughs> well, live on... You hear, yeah, you hear this guy? Boku Sasu is an ultra, ultra woman... Boku Sasu is a Dina simp. Just, I am. I, I, I am. I hate it. I don't hate it. I'm a Dina simp. Fucking hell. Uh, well, to be fair. Well, to be fair. Past Ultraman show had, like, attracted women that caught my attention. For the record, I want to say this. No. Not fucking uh, you, not from Trigger. Why? Around the time the show came out, the character... The character, the actress as well, was like eighteen. I can say that I, I can say the actress. I can say that the actress as well. Well, she's attractive though. I can't lie that. I, I have a celebrity crush on her. If I going to say that the actress is the actress as well, the actress the actress is twenty years old. So she's old. She's younger than me. She's younger than me. She's way younger than me, I can say. I find out I'm, I'm, I'm way older than her. And I say that because I'm 22. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not going to say that for, for you not care, but no. So, moving on from that. I, I, I know. The second female of, of the Guts team and Trigger... I like her. I like her a lot, actually. And I and I had a thing for her. I had a crush on her. But like, okay, she's crazy. She's cool. She doesn't do no one's bullshit. I like her. Why the hell is he being raised in this crappy show that's Ultimate Trigger? <laughs> then we got Yuko from fucking, uh, from fucking Zed. I fucking love this girl. God damn it. At the same time, she's, cr she's kind of weird because she has a thing for older men. Like fucking Zed. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking love Zed, but God, my God, what the hell? Ay, ay. So, anyway. So, anyway. Moving alongside from that. <laughs> Move alongside for that. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about life. How how's it going for Bokusatsu? Well, this week has been frustrating. I can say it was, boy, Thursday at work pissed me off, dude. And let's just say that my boss is not happy with me about that. And well, let's just say that next week gonna be interesting for me. And uh, I took I took a and that could be a consequence that I took. I'll come back with an update on that next week, in the next podcast episode. But uh, yeah. Speaking of this week, I just watched uh, actually today I watched uh Creed three. I watched the late episode. I watched the late installment of the, of the Creed movie, Creed three. And fuck, got to do. Okay, okay, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. First off. Michael B. Jordan and John Veralto, I think that's his name. I think that's his, his name. My fucking God. This fucking movie. This movie felt like. This movie felt like I was watching Haji no Nippo 
And it's a fun fact. I never saw Hajime Ippo in my entire life. But I felt like watching that in Dragon Ball Z. Because I know, I know. Micah B. Jordan's a big anime fan. He, he already admitted that he is. I don't, I don't blame him. I am too. <laughs> and, uh, fuck this. This movie felt like, this movie felt like, oh, this movie felt like in the final showdown between, between these character and his friend, Dame, Damien. My God, it felt like I was watching a boxing anime slash Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, they're like, bop, 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 and we, bop, 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 I'm like, oh, damn, okay, 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 I see it, I see it, okay, damn, this shit, this shit's fire, what the hell? Damn. Okay. Yo, I, yo, I was in the zone for watching this movie. I was like, damn, damn, what the fuck? They feel like, dude, what the hell? They punch it. Feel like watching Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, dude, they even referenced, they even referenced the DBZ gut punch and the one, and they even referenced the one fart, the one scene that Goku and Vegeta did in the Boo Saga from Punch Out in the Face. And yes, I know GT did it. Wait, with, with Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. With Trunks and Goten in Dragon Ball Z. And in Super, with Goku Black and, well, Goku. But to be fair, Trunks and Goten did it first, then Goku Vegeta. But, uh, but to be fair, I kind of I, I I kinda prefer, prefer Goku and Vegeta fighting the Boo Saga for that moment. It, 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 it's iconic. It's also, my it's also my favorite fight in Dragon Ball Z in general. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, though, dude, that, it, dude, this feels like I'm watching a live action anime. It is so good. If you have not see, if you have not seen Creed Three, go watch it. So good. Watch the first two, then go watch this one because so good. Oh my good. Nine out of ten. Solid A. Why is it nine out of ten? Because I felt because I was watching this, I think the movie referenced crypto. I think. Wait, what? You know the freaking you know you you know what crypto is right NFTs and all that. I think the movie is, I get it I took I took a ducking point out because the movie referenced that and I was like, okay, kind of weird, kind of weird why you guys reference that in this badass movie it's like, like who the like who the like who the fuck is trying to add NFTs into this boxing event. Don't get me wrong, Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather did it with his boxing event against Logan Paul, which was stupid to be honest. But I uh, was like, was that really necessary to add this movie? It wasn't. It wasn't necessary. Just saying. So yeah, 9 out of 10 movie. Solid A. Go watch it. So good. It's so good. I watched, I watched the first two Creed movies a long time ago. And uh... Watching this one, fucking how to. I want to see it again. This, this movie's so good. This movie's so fucking good. God damn it. It felt like... It felt like I was watching a character arc from this movie, from the beginning of it, to D's back... D's, uh, backstory with his friend, Sean. And to now... No, well, Damien, I mean to say. Not the Damien. And to now, them... Now, them both boxing beat each other up. Like a fucking Dragon Ball Z slash like Hajime no Ippo. Like, what, what the fuck, dude? Like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, okay. Go. Uh, I'm sorry. I love this movie. I love this movie. I love this movie. What my God damn. Go watch it. Go watch it. Go fucking watch it. God damn. If I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest. I think, I, I like this movie way more than Quantum Phil. The Quantum, the Quantum Phil. Than, uh, than the Ant-Man movie. I thought the movie, I thought the Ant Man, I thought the Ant Man movie was, uh, all right. Orange off for Kang, and it, well, his actor stole the whole movie for me. Funny enough, he's in this, he's in the Creed Three, playing as D, as Dame, as Damien. I, my fucking god, this actor, <laughs> this fucking actor, this fucking actor, handsome as fuck. <laughs> and uh, well, he fucking killed it in this movie. I loved it. I love Creed. I love this Creed movie. Creed three, so good. Yeah, I thought I, I thought Ant, I thought Ant Man. I thought the Ant Man movie was eh, all right. Not the best. To be honest, I to be honest, I don't keep up. I don't keep up anymore with the MCU. So it's also that too. 
I thought it was alright. I did some jokes ran, some didn't. It was kind of meh. I don't know. Dude, it feel like to me that every time an MCU movie comes out, I'm just like not fully excited for it. But kind of forever was was the last time I felt fully excited for it. Cause I was I was actually hyped for it. Then, my fifty fifty I can say. Production production happened that the main reason why main reason why, main reason why the movie's not being fit because Sherry actress being stubborn and being anti vax. That's why that's why my hyper movie low down like okay. Okay. So the main character the main protagonist of this movie who's being the actress who's playing who's actress being stubborn by being anti vax. Yes, he's anti vax for the record. <sighs> I hate, I fucking hate, I hate this shit. I hate, I fucking hate, I fucking hate anti-vax people so much. <sighs> Apparently, Ross is actress as well. Not surprised, not surprised. Her kid, her kid didn't do shit in the Ant, new Ant-Man movie. <sighs> hi, hi, hi. So moving on, <coughs> sorry. So back, so back on saying, the MCU right now for me is, I'm, I'm not, I'm losing interest. <laughs> I can't keep it with it anymore. Well, kind of forever was the last time an MCU movie, MCU movie got me hyped up. And I, I fucking loved it. I cried. I actually cried inside. It was emotional when I watched that movie. And I loved it. It was a good tribute to Travis Bozeman. And to, well, uh, <laughs> and to, well, uh, into a lot, into a lot of other stuff as well. I can say that movie was beautiful, and I love it. Also, do not, please, do not be. Also, do not slander Wakanda forever. Fuck. If you, if you have a problem, if you have a problem with that movie, if you have a problem with that movie for being black, guess what, fucker? You're, you're racist because I hate, I hate that. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate when people use racism. To slander a movie just because just because it don't just because it don't have like a white a white cast in it, fuck you and get your racism out of my out of my entertainment. <laughs> because this same shit happened, the same shit happened last month with the Proud family when I talk about on this podcast. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I just I just can't stand that stuff. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I can't I can't do MCU. So my favorite like my like my favorite MCU movies is uh no direct no no like correct order. Well, Connor Fire is up there. We have that Homecoming. I fuck I like Homecoming the first one because Far From Home was okay. I don't hate as many others, but it's okay. Homecoming is my favorite. Homecoming is my favorite of uh, MCU. Homecoming is my favorite like Spider-Man movie MCU because that's the beginning of Peter Parker's arc as Spider-Man, and Tom Holland did a really good job for it. That movie is just beautiful. Also, Michael Keaton is in there. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> He's Batman again, and I, I'm only seeing the Flash movie just for him. And that's it, just for him. I fucking want to see that damn suit again. And the fact that, and the fact that he, and the fact that, uh, he, he gonna be in that suit again. Fuck yeah, I love it. I just need to play the 1980 Batman theme when, when his character appears in that Flash movie. Cause boy, that is, boy, I cannot wait. I fucking love the 1980 Batman movie. In my opinion, one of the most underrated movies in my bat, in my, one, one of the most underrated movies. I love it. Yes, I love. Yes, I love. I like. Yes, yes, I like the old school Batman movies. I don't remember that much from Batman Returns, from Batman, from uh, from Batman and Catwoman, from from Batman Returns. Uh, <laughs> Val Kilmer. Oh boy, Val Kilmer. <laughs> Val Kilmer Batman. Val Kilmer Bruce Wayne was okay. Okay, George Clooney was funny. Same time, he that man felt felt sorry for Batman and Robin. Dude, 
to do to be honest to be honest Batman Robin isn't a bad movie I actually like it how stupid it is it's a fucking movie about about bat nipples a porn star <laughs> Mr. Freeze who's Arnold Schwarzenegger what the wait 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 that's how you say his name don't cancel me for that we got Bane and we got well Robin being horny for poison <laughs> Not just that, uh, we got Batgirl in this movie, and, uh, well, and, uh, well, she's just, she's just, the movie, she's just in the movie for no reason, and this, and funny enough, this version of Batgirl ain't even Barbara Gordon, no! <laughs> and also, I get to know, when, when, the time, when the time movie was coming out, people were criticizing an actress for the size for the suit, and... <laughs> I want to say this. You guys, you guys, were, you guys, were, you guys were wrong for doing that. You guys were so wrong for doing that to her. Just saying. You guys were so wrong for doing that to the actress that played Bat, Batwoman, well, Batgirl in the Batman and Robin movie. You guys were so wrong for doing that. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. How did I know this? I'm gonna put a link in the description. Elvis the Alien's, Elvis the Alien's review to the to that movie. I fucking love Elvis Alien. He's actually he, he's one of my favorite uh he's, he's one of my favorite uh movie reviewers. Like, I, I like uh, I fucking love this guy's uh I fucking love this guy's energy and charm to his videos. <laughs> he's funny. I like him. Yes, I know. I know. He's he said he did he said some he said some credible things, and well his past times on Twitter. I can't lie. But movie aside from that, I fucking love I fucking I fucking love this guy's videos. I was a big fan of his people ruin. His, I was a big fan of his people ruin. His, people ruin everything videos, and <laughs> when he made the JoJo video, oh god, the JoJo video was probably the most cursed one I ever saw. He got Joey the anime man to rant read a fan of uh, in a fucking, you can say incest fan fiction, that was lemon. We can say about. If I remember, Dio and Jotaro, well, Dio and, uh, not Jotaro, no, no, not Jotaro, <sighs> what was his name, Jotaro, yeah, 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 I think Jotaro, not, not, not Jotaro, no, not, uh, Jotaro, no, in part three, in part four, no, this was, uh, J Josuke, yeah, not, fuck, damn it, Josuke's, uh, Jotaro's great, great grandfather, we can say his uh, grandfather, and uh, <laughs> goddamn! <laughs> if you've seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's just say that, uh, my God, my God, Dio, you didn't, you, you didn't, you didn't have to use your stand on him. <laughs> well, I just ruined JoJo for everybody. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. But to be fair, I, to be fair, I kind, I kind of see JoJo mid and overrated. The only part of JoJo that I like is part four, and that's it. No, I haven't watched part five or part six. Part five, I don't know when I watch part five because I heard, I heard part five disturbing. I tried to watch part five a long time ago on Toonami back in the day with the dub on, on, on three episodes. Then stop. Then stop. Then fucking stop. Never, never, never back to it. But uh. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Should, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should go back and watch part five, part six. Because, oh boy, fucking JoJo. This show. This fucking show. God damn it. I, don't go on. I love JoJo. But at the same time, I find I find that I find that stuff overrated in mid. <clears throat> because, oh boy. Because JoJo is so popular that it's fucking... The fact that JoJo have a has has a clothing brand, a clothing brand in over here in America and Japan baffles me. Baffles me and crazy, and I love it because of that reason. <laughs> Fine. So, uh, movie. So, moving on from that. So, moving on from that. I want to talk about. I think I want to talk about uh, something. Fan service. Well, 
I have a hot take to say. So, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Uh, about today, a friend of mine asked me about my asked me why where did my disliking towards certain show begin? And uh, well, I want to start with this. <clears throat> I'll just be straight. If you know, if you know me by now, if you if you follow my Twitter, if you follow my social media, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of Kaiju Sentai Go Kaiju. And well, I have my issue for that show. Let's talk. Let's talk about fan service, Sally. I think I personally think that fan service ruins my ruin, ruins the experience for for me, me only watching a show or movie. Me, fan service could be good in different ways. It could be good or bad. At the same time, it could be good in a dumb way. Like, okay, for example, Dr Super Dragon Ball Heroes. That show is. That promotion, that promotional anime is one hundred percent fan service as fuck. Sorry, as f. Let's be honest, it, it it is like okay. Explain to me, okay. Super Saiyan Four Broly finding Super Saiyan Four Xeno Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Okay, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta fighting Super Saiyan Rose Gray Goku Black. Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Goku team over Super Saiyan Blue Goku <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm fucking saying? Also, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Vegito. Okay? <laughs> okay? I love that shit. Also, to be fair, to be fair, one, I can't lie. Here's the thing. I'm a Dragon Ball nerd, so any type of Dragon Ball media that fan service that fuck, I will eat that shit up because, well, look at one. Super Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Heroes is stupid, but I love it because of that reason. It's stupid. I love fan service. I love that type of fan service and in, in, in that's in there. It's stupid, but I love it. But moving on to like live action, for for me, for like for me, like a fan service, it could it could go two ways. One, me being hype as fuck for it, or two, say. It's good, but I time but right now I think I think the community has overhyped it. And uh real that's how I feel about about about, about media like Go Kaiger and uh Spider Man No Way Home. Because like, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed No Way Home. I thought I thought it was a good movie. But at the same time, the fan service dude killed it and it's just an it just uh, eh. it's a good movie, but it's over at praise and over hype. I can't lie, I was one of the suckers that are fanboying as shit when it's movie because, well, Toby's in it and Andrew, and well, watch that movie brought back nostalgia memories of me as a kid watching Spider-Man 1 as a, as a baby. No joke, I was a baby when Spider-Man 1 came out. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and yeah. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy, though. Crazy. It was yeah. It it was a good movie, but at the same time, the fan service killed it, in my opinion. So what? So so why the? So what? What makes you a go Kaiser? Well, this this doesn't only a pop. This doesn't only appear. This doesn't. This isn't my only issue with go Kaiser, but most of our other stuff in general. I can't stand fan service anymore. Tokusatsu. It's it just I can't anymore. Let me explain. I now I have now I did not watch the show when it came out in two thousand eleven or twelve. Around the time when the tsunami hit and when Forze was also airing. I know both shows both shows both shows did a lot of good things for those pe for those fans because around the time the tsunami uh, in a, a tsunami, did a lot of damage to Japan, and we all, and, and Japan lost a lot, of, a lot of loved ones around that around that time, and uh, that's sad to hear. I respect the hustle that both sh that, that shows like Go Kaiju and Forza did for the fan. That's good. I'm happy about that. I'm happy for that. I watched Go Kaiju in 2020, 
one one time because I heard a lot of good things about it. Because well, I well again, I, hate it. I knew what Sentai was in 2014, all the way to 2018. Well, my first Sentai in 2014 was a few episodes of Jew Ranger on YouTube. Then well, in uh, 2018, I bought at a con a bootleg DVD of the Hong Kong stuff of Alba Ranger. And well, I watched half the show, never went back to it to I finished in 2020. And I loved it. So yeah, so yeah, it's funny though. Both Sentais. Both Sentai, both shows that both shows that like were like my introduction to Sentai were dinosaur related. Funny. <laughs> and uh and uh yeah though. I watched when I when I when I discovered Common Rider. When I discovered Common Rider era around twenty twenty, when I saw a few episodes of, when I saw like a video of Common Rider build on YouTube. I went on lot I went on and watched one episode on on what I watched one episode of build a one a what 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 website was it again I forgot what it's called. I saw I watched one episode of Bill, one minute episode, and said it's okay. That that's how I sat down, watched the that's how I sat down, bench the whole show, I fell in love with it. I loved it. I loved it. Bill's my favorite season, by the way, because it holds a special place in my heart. So it's also that, too. I loved it. Bill was amazing. It's not perfect. No. I can I, I can I can understand the valid criticisms that the show get. But to be fair, I want to say a nice way. Uh, every, like, every comedy show has their issues, their flaws. x has a lot, just saying. If you want to hear my problem with X Day, I have a podcast episode on my channel. You can hear all that about. But uh, yeah, build was build holds a lot of. Build has a special heart, a special place in my heart, and I always, I always, I always cherish it. So yeah. So when when the when the pandemic began, around the time around March, I decided to do. You know what? Since I can't leave my house because I'm on lockdown and there's a virus that that interrupted my plans for 2020, let me go binge every comedy show. And well, I did that back to back. <laughs> at the build, I watched Zio, and at the Zio, what the Zio? I think what the Zio? I think it was not double. I think it was double or Ryuki. No, no, oh, sorry, it was X It was X <laughs> It was X A. Then I watched uh, Ryu I think I think Ryuki was double one or two, but yeah. After that, I watched Ryuki, and uh, I hated it. It was boring as shit. It was so boring. I fell asleep for watching it. And then I binge every kind of show from Bill all the way to Kruger, and I watched Kruger at last. And I fell in love. And, and well, I fell in love with Kruger. I fell in love with Kruger. Kruger was so good. And I loved it. No joke, Kruger was so fucking good. I love that show. One of my favorites, top five. <laughs> also, fun fact, me and I ha I have a special connection with Kruger in general. Why is that? Kruger came out in the year two thousand. I was born I was born I was born in two thousand. Year the dragon. Yes no, Kruger's a bug, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was born around the same year as Kruger was airing in Japan. Also, yes, Time Ranger as well was airing in Japan. And we have Power Ranger Lightspeed Rescue over here in America. But hey, thing. I don't have a connection to Time Ranger. Kruger, I do. And well, because of that reason, I fell in love with Kruger. So back on so back up on fan sir. So so you're gonna ask Boku, what the heck is all that what what the heck did what the hell does all that have to do with with you and uh with Go Kai you you not liking Go Kaiger. Let me explain. Let me explain. After I watched like every Heisei show around in my on my pandemic quarantine, I watched Sentai. I said, I was like, okay, you know what? I did, you know what? Let's just change that way. Let's go on some Sentai. So, I did. 
Uh, I forgot, I forgot, how, I forgot how often he shows in orders, but, uh, yeah, though. Yeah, I watched Gokaiju at the Shinkinger, and I'll, and I'll say, okay, you know what, let's, let's see what people, no, let's see what's so good about this show. I watch it, that was good. I was most, I was most ready for Guy to appear. <laughs> I thought, okay, it's a good show. I watched it one time, keep in mind, I watched it one time, 2020, that was a good show. And, uh, well... Times pass. Times, time, like, like, the thrill. Time, like, year, time and years have passed for me. And I came to the realization last year that I, I don't have, like, a special connection to the show. And I just get, and I just, oh, oh, my bad. I think I have a problem because right now, for me, for me, I just most, I just see Gokaiger as well, fan service, mostly. Like, the beginning episodes, the beginning episodes of the show, talk 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 about like a lot of sentimental stuff, and yeah, it's true. But at the same time, Gokai is pretty much fan service, and, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because I just don't like it. No, that's not, no. I have a reason. I have a reason actually. I have a, I actually have a reason. Yes, I know. I know it was the 35th anniversary for the show. Of course, it's gonna be fan service, but here's the thing: Zio did fan service stuff too, and Zio was is the fan service. The fan service that Zio did wasn't the best, but it, uh, yeah, at the same time, I think I think it was a little bit more bad than Go Kaijers, in my opinion. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Zio. Like I f like I fuck like I like I enjoy seeing my I enjoy seeing my boy Sento Bond today, but at the same time, I hate I hate it how the first two episodes of Zeo are build related. Fuck you, Toei. You sh fuck you, Toei. You basically just no fuck you, Toei. You should have done that. Because my God, that my God, that was basically a big f you in the face saying, "Oh hey, Bill fans, if what you so so you remember all the pain and trauma." That Sento and his friends had in in his show. Yeah, guess what? Uh, fuck you guys. The first two episodes are gonna be Bill related, and well, your boy Sento and Banjo no longer have their powers anymore. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Toei. Fuck you for that. <laughs> I hate you for that. I no joke, no joke. I actually hate how the first two episodes were build related. Build related. I hated it. <laughs> so move. So back on saying. The fan, I I just can't go anywhere. Well, I can't go anywhere. What Rossi community getting hype up saying, "Oh, oh, look at this and this and this and this." <gasps> Yo, look at this. They brought back my favorite such such actor for this and this. Like, okay, 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 that's fair. No, you can be happy for that. But at the same time, I just it's just it's just it's just not it's just not it's just not there for me. Look at Superhero Zenki for a second. Look at Superhero Zenki. That show, that show, that movie with fan service. You can tell it was. Like, they brought back a lot of Sentai celebrity. Jackie, Shinkin Green, Kirame Blue, Deca Master, Ryu Commander, uh, uh, I forgot, I forgot the Pink Ranger's name from, uh, Q Ranger, to be fair. That's, I don't, too fair. I can't, I can't remember singing name about that character in the show. <laughs> uh, who else? Who else? No, that's it. Oh, yeah, they got freaking Sogo from, yeah, for Comrade, they got, they got freaking. Sogo, they, they got, they got the Taros in there, and who else? And uh, who else? And uh, no, that's it. No, that's it. And, well, listen, listen, listen. I love seeing my boy Decker Master, and I love hearing Tetsu Inada voicing that badass dog and everything Toku related. No joke, because we all know that Decker is my favorite Sentai, so I, so I like that. I like that, the Shinkin Green, the Ryu Commander, and the Kiriman Blue appear cameos get a, be a pass for me. I love those. I love seeing those. I love I love seeing those fuckers again. <laughs> Don't, they, they get a pass. They get a pass. But, move aside from that, I, I feel like fan service ruined the experience for, like, for me, for watching, like, a Toku show in Tokusatsu or a movie. And well, it just doesn't sit right with me. It feels like a bad taste in my mouth. 
like, okay, uh, Zenkaiger versus Kira Major versus Zenpaiger. That movie was fan service because, well, let's face it, it fucking was. It, it was fan service because, well, we got Kai's actor back. To be fair, I, I, I fuck it. To be fair, to be fair, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with, uh, I fuck, I fuck with the Lucan Ranger, all three of them. I like Kai, though. Most relatable one out of them in my, in my, to me. I like Kai. And like, oh, cool, Zox is gonna be fighting Marvelous. I'm like, okay, that's cool and all. To be fair, to be fair, I, I'll be for Zox more, but still. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that movie, that movie was fan service, you can tell, because, well, <laughs> they did, well, let's see, the deck arrangers were in there. Well, the suit. Well, to be fair, the, to be fair, the, to be fair, to be fair, that, 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 that's the reason why. Here's the reason. So, Akawa did not vote for that movie. No, Junko did. But here's the thing. For those that know, no, but I think, I'm, I, think I think a lot of people fucking knew this. Akawa vote for Cure Major and Decker Ranger, and both shows had the same uh, producer and fight choreographer. Well, that's no producer and director. And uh, well, Tetsu Nada was in both shows, so there's also that too. I like I like that one. I like that. I like that part in the movie get passed because well I, I fucking love seeing I fucking love seeing the deck ranger suits again. Also not also damn it also I just want I just want to see the care ranger interact with the deck rangers. God damn it, Toei, give me that. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I do fair next year next year's turn anniversary of peak Sentai, so yeah. Uh yeah. Deck Ranger is peak. A <sighs> coward was cooking. He was cooking, all right. He was cooking the shit that fucking show. I love Decker Ranger. <laughs> uh, moving on from moving on from my love for Decker Ranger. Back on back on my mean back on from back back on from back on from back on from me and fan server. I'm trying to say. When I when I look at a show like Go Kaiser now, I can't look at the same because it's just basically fan service in general, and just that fan service just ruins for me because. People, I know the I know Zenkai is not a fan favorite, but here's the thing for me. I actually prefer Zenkaiju more than uh Gokaiju because I prefer my Sentai not to be fan service as fuck. Do what do what they uh do like they uh what freaking uh Jojo did, and do like the anniversary stuff like like in a crossover episode or in a movie. Or do like fucking or do or do like what Gal Ranger did or Bull Kinger. Because I fucking I fucking like I, I like how both those shows did as well for the like, anniversary. Even though I, Gal Ranger was boring as fuck. I prefer Wild Force more, but still. I enjoyed the I enjoyed the Gal Ranger versus Super Sentai movie. And I and I also enjoyed the Bo Kinger versus Super Sentai movie way more. Hell, I fucking hell I fucking love the Geoja crossover to have a Go Kaiger because even though that crossover make perfect sense. Here, every time, every time I got Go Kaiser now, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't do, I just don't see, I just, I just don't, I just don't see how, I just don't see what I don't see with those characters. Like, eh, I mean, yeah, it did, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, eh, I can't, I can't. I, I don't care for Ranger Keys. I think the Ranger Keys, I think the Ranger Keys are probably the most over, overrated gimmicks, in my opinion, right next to the, well, Cupimas from, the Q Thomas from we from not we the no from uh Q Ranger. <laughs> in uh in the end though, I just don't I just the, the fan service just ruins it for me for Go Kaiger. That and that if that and fan that and fans are hyping up at like at like at like if the show like the fucking like next Jesus Christ or whatever, like for fuck's sake. I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. If you like Go Kaiju, that's totally fine. You can like it. It may not be, it may not be for everyone, and, and let's respect that, okay? I'm not gonna be an asshole to you because you, because you love the show and the character. No, but just don't be an asshole. Just don't be an asshole to those that don't like the show. Cause my God, when there are times I give my opinion on Trey about, about why I did not like or care for that show, 
people, Gokaiser fans in general got butt hurt. I want to say this to you guys right now. If, if you have a problem with me not liking the same show as you, my DMs are open. We can talk about it or just deal with it. Like, Spoo Hoo, I hurt your feelings that just because, just because I don't like the same kid show as you. Moving on. There are way better other Sentai that aren't just deal with fucking pirates. Just saying. My God. Sorry, but man, I feel like the community can't. <sighs> nah, not not gonna go there. 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 <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Follow my social media in the description. And put the notification button on for the next video. Your boy's trying to hit a hundred. Your boy's trying to hit like a thousand subs this year. Well, well, with the help of with the help of you guys liking these videos and supporting me on all my social media, we can get there. <laughs> and my note word: the next video, the next toy review is gonna be on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And once that video's out, and uh, yeah, <laughs> after that, it's gonna be a Jeets. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, though, also. I want. I am. Go, I do have plans for other videos in the works. I want to do. I gotta think about. I gotta think about how how I want to plan them out. But uh, yeah, that will be happening for this channel too. So yeah, I feel like Dragon Ball what if videos again. And besides that, me doing like a room tour for my whole room. Show you guys. Show you guys. Show you guys. Show you guys what the hell. Both sides are cooking in this room tour. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Besides that, uh, oh yeah, I promise you guys, I promise you guys this too, but, uh, I'm gonna make a Jasmine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video talking about why I love Jasmine from Decorate. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be fun. This, this, this is gonna be fucking fun. This is gonna be fun. I, I already know, this is gonna be fun. Well, that's gonna be a fun video to talk about. <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Thank you, for, thank, thank, thank you all for listening to this podcast. <laughs> my name's Aaron, <laughs> and... <laughs> You, you, you know, follow, follow myself in the description and put the notification button on for the next video. And, uh, yeah, guys, my, and I'm out. Bye.